Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be playing more Tormentum. Alright. Oh, I made the mistake. Of chugging my food. Oh. Uh, I think I need to go. Nope. No, this wasn't it. I need to go back to the guy who gave me the key. <clears throat> oh, he's very dead. He's dead. The wounds he suffered during the attack have proven fatal. I'm sorry, little dude. I throw this at the ground. The fog is starting to disperse. The mage's power really worked. Hmm. I wish I could have helped sooner. The door is locked. Yes, it is. It's a little, little menacing. Let's see. What's over here? Bird skull do the spear thrum. That's rough, man. Why are you still here? There is sorrow in the wind today. Can you feel it? A great battle took place here. We were attacked by knights from the castle, obsessed by the idea of purging yes. Obsessed with the idea of purging us of evil. They were aided by someone we once took as a friend. He cast a poisonous fog around our village, leaving us defenseless against the knights. If I am not mistaken, he belongs to the race of Grey Ikari. You may identify them by their large, tattered wings. He probably sold us for a handful of eggs. Still, we were lucky enough to injure him. He could have gotten far. Okay, I'll go get revenge for you guys. Okay, I'm missing a piece. Into the village we go. My goodness. The key on the instrument had been recognized, and we were standing before. One night, a winged creature came to our camp. It asked for shelter. We gave it shelter. Little did we know it would be a false hearted traitor, spreading a paralyzing fog under the cover of night. He sold us out for a handful of eggs. Undoubtedly, these flying creatures have a weakness for them. Please find him, and I shall offer you my help. He's wounded. He can't be far. I wonder if it's that Akari egg. I upset. I hope not. <clears throat> the fire consumes everything around. Is there anywhere else for me to go? No, just a piano. I don't think I have anything else. I don't. Um, no. I have to be missing something. Right. Can't go. Can I go over here? Can I go over here? I'm looking for an Akari. Another warrior's corpse. Bird boy, I'm coming for you. Don't know where you're gonna be, but I'm gonna find you. And I'm gonna give you the good old one, too. Constructing. A human shaped statue. There are symbols underneath it. Oh, there are. <gasps> oh, wait. Okay, so this need to be the grumpy faced one.
make a king. Mm. A crown does not a king make. A heart does not a king make. A king must have his own heart open for all, giving hope for a better tomorrow. Hope is not a dream. It is a way of transforming dreams into reality. Should the king open himself to others, the secret within the crown will open before him as well. Okay. I did it again. <laughs> I need to stop it. Sir, can I look at your painting? Look, cat, we have an unexpected visitor. And rather smart, too, wielding the power of code breaking. Since you're already here, please tell me how is life outside the cathedral? We rarely leave these walls, you'll see. The village destroyed? I can see. Building the sanctuary many years ago was a wise idea. You have lost your memory, and you hope to regain it by awakening the statue on the hill. I'm afraid you are mistaken. Most people who come here seek redemptions from their sins. Apparently, the statue attracts individuals with deeply rooted convictions of their own evil. Are you indifferent? I am one of the few who have crossed the gates hidden within the sculpture and returned. Not many believe my tale. Most believe I have gone insane. It was many, many years ago. I have paid a high price for my recklessness. I have gone completely blind, and yet to this day I struggle to recreate in my paintings what I saw on the other side. Oh! So all those photos, all the paintings he's done, are things he's seen from the other side. Fascinating. I want them to be warnings for people like yourself. Believe me when I say, nothing good will await you when you cross the other side. Nevertheless, to have the passage revealed to you, you must thrust into the statue a sword made of metal from the stars. I buried mine a long time ago. Do you remember where I buried it, Cat? Oh yes, you weren't even born back then. What do you say, Cat? Shall we help him? If my painting and my words do not discourage you, then I can do nothing more to stop you. I can draw you a sword design that will reveal the gates behind the sculpture, the star metal you'll still need to find on your own. Before I help you, however, I will ask you a small favor. Take this set of tools and restore 30 of my paintings. Time is slowly consuming them. In exchange for your efforts, I will prepare a star sword blueprint for you. Man, dude, little do you know. I genuinely just went around looking at all your photos. Whenever you're ready, my cat will show you the way to the paintings I need restoration for. You're kind of adorable, but you're also kind of horrifying. Don't listen to the old fool. Why bother? I'll just show you the paintings behind which the old man hid the piece of the star sword. Look at the wall. I marked it with my claws. Ah, there's one tiny detail. To get to the blueprint, you will need to cut the painting up, but that's no real loss. Here's a set of knives. Go ahead and use them. The demented old man will not notice. He's already completely blind and hardly can hear. Look, you know what? No. I'm gonna be a good noodle. I'm gonna do my job.
I sense as if my works were painted yesterday. Marvelous. Do you like my paintings now, cat? My cat is very pleased as well. You, you have deserved your reward. I will draw you the sword design that I keep in my memory. If you are still so determined to go there, be careful. You gonna make fun of me? Psst, you fool. Why all the trouble? You could just steal the sketch. It would work just as well. He can't hear us. He's pretty much deaf. Meow. Meow. <laughs> I wish you good luck and be careful. Thanks, man. You too. Alright, he gave me a sketch. Ooh, so there's three parts. Okay. Where do I go now? Can I take your sword? Before night knows no mercy. Yep. It's very mean. I don't know if I can go over here. Hello, sir. Cough, cough. We meet again. Cough, cough. Oh, he blames me for all this. No, that should you have given me that egg. None of this would have ever happened. Cough, cough. I wouldn't have to sell myself to the castle out of hunger. This is all your fault. Cough, cough. Cough, cough. Now please, just let me die in peace. I witnessed petty desire leading to great tragedies. Not wasting any more time, I returned to the Baron village to report on the results of my search. Genuinely, I forgot I was looking for him. Have you found the winged traitor? Keep your secrets. You are silent. I see. I guess you haven't found him. The winged creature must have escaped. Very well. We will catch it soon enough. I have some advice for you. The music will show you your, the way. There goes a dove. Oh boy. Fire consumes everything around it. Yep, I know that much, but we're gonna go here. I'll grab that. I've taken a stone disc, which I needed for that last area, I think. Wait, but I think I need two of them down there. Oh, it fits. Now I have to align the disc correctly. Oh no. Oh, I see. Okay. Something's emerging. This must be the star metal. I can head back to the blacksmith now. He will know what to do with it. <laughs> I 
I can't help but feel like if I would have given the egg to the little bird, the big bird, that he would have still caused all this havoc. I think he still would have killed everybody. <sighs> Bring me the metal, I can forge the star sword. Here you go, sir. Blacksmith. The blacksmith devotedly begins crafting the sword. The notes I collected at the Mad Painter's Cathedral have proven very useful. Ooh, that's a pretty sword. I've taken the star sword. The blacksmith did a fine job. That he did. Thank you, sir. Pat, pat. I'm not happy about this, but we're gonna go stab the statue. Ugh, I just, I could listen to this music all day. That's so soothing. Something's happening. The sword has awakened the sculpture. I feel a force lifting me upwards as my body becomes limp, that feeling as if time has stopped. Or had it ever existed? I am blinded by light. I don't know what is happening to me. I felt as if my heart were being ripped to shreds. When I opened my eyes, I realized I am somewhere else completely. So it was a portal. A farewell to winter. Okay. I didn't see. Hello. I am pleased to see you have made it this far. We have been waiting for you. To find the truth, you will need the key. Make your choice. Choose the key of light. If you consider yourself a good person, with a clear conscience. Choose the key of darkness. If it is darkness that lies within your heart, the decision is yours. Remember, the destiny we have is the destiny we are. Um, I mean, I would like to be light. You know, light and positivity and all that good stuff. I feel like everybody is filled with darkness. And it's about overcoming all of that. So let's, let's try darkness. I have taken the key of darkness. My conscience is stained. I have not always done right. What do I do with the key? You have chosen your key. Go now and meet your destiny. What do we do? Okay, this way. Oh, I do not like that. Who are you? I hope you're ready to know the final truth. For this point on, there is no return. Crawl deep down into the place where either good or evil shall open the door of your destiny. Okay. Crawling on my knees, I squeeze through the tunnel, completely devoid of light. Under my hands, I can feel bones scattering on the slippery surface. My nostrils overwhelmed by the stench of rotting flesh. The only thing I can find at the end of the tunnel is a ladder leading further down. I have no choice but to take it down. As I descend the ladder, I notice an elevator. Hi, elevator. I'm gonna go on a trip. Okay, we're, we're going down. Where, where are we going? As I enter the elevator, I lose track of time. The ride down seems to have no end. The initial excitement gives way to frustration. Is this some form of punishment? Everyone I have met during my journey has begun the t t to return in my memory. Some of the memories are connected with regret. Were my actions always right? I will never know. The elevator continues to descend. The never-ending abyss. 
Slowly, I fall into the arms of Morpheus. In my dream, I see an old man who, at the end of his life, understands the concept of hell, the wasted chances, all opportunities we've missed during our lifetimes. He keeps wondering how his life would look today had he seized all opportunities he missed, but this cannot be done. There is no second chance. Upon this realization, he plunged into sorrow, which will last an eternity. I am overtaken by paralyzed. I am overtaken by paralyzing fear that I might be that old man. At this moment, I wake up. The elevator suddenly slowed to its descent. Just like weighing our souls. Have we been dead this whole time? You're kind of cute, though. Long have I waited for you, but you have finally succeeded in wading through the remnants of your memories to find me. This place is buried deep underground, just as your memories are in the chasm of your conscious. I assume you will have many questions, as does every lost soul who enters here. You might prefer to disbelieve, but your body has long since been consumed by the earth. So we were dead this whole time. <sighs> Everything you have experienced in this castle in the wasteland and the frozen tears. It was a spectacle, a projection of your shattered memories. A unique world created solely from the purpose of determining whether the nature of your soul can cha still change. You must wonder, what events led you here? Be warned, the truth may be cruel and difficult to accept jealousy. This was the catalyst of your deeds, leading you to your tragic end. Behold the final moments of your life. Ow! Your obsessive jealousy drove you to murder your beloved, killing yourself soon afterwards. You had no courage to live with sin so heavy, choosing instead to escape. With your cowardly act, you closed two books. This was another and final display of cowardice. Deep within their soul, anyone knows too well that suicide might be a solution. It is truly, it is a truly shameful one. And when all seems lost, it is more honorable to be defeated by life itself than suffer death by one's own hands. In effect, your soul arrived into the world formed from the fragments of your memories, dreams, and nightmares. All this so you could redeem your sins, prove that you are worthy of salvation, or confirm you deserve eternal damnation. You were given another chance. Let us see if you succeeded. You saved your fellow prisoner. Even though you did not have to, his heart was not pure, but no creature truly deserves death. You were being told to kill the woman trapped in the cage, but you chose to act rationally. You repaired the door to the spider's den. While you could have opened it, you avoided unnecessary bloodshed. You did not kill the horned knight, even though the means to do so were right in front of you. You saved the being from being You saved the being from the crossroads from dreadful torment. You freed a man imprisoned at the bottom of a well. You gave the crown to the lizard from the tower. You chose well. He had he was a very wise being, incapable of using the crown's power to do wrong. You let the Icarus die in peace. You lied in order not to reveal his hiding place, but you are forgiven. Your intentions were noble. The paintings meant a lot to the painter. The restoration was a drop of joy in a sea of sorrows. The paintings meant a lot to the painter. Their restoration was a drop of joy in the sea of sorrows for this old man. 
The jester's heart was shrouded by darkness, and yet you were able to forgive him and give him a second chance. The decisions you had to make during your journey were put before you to test your corrupt soul. By your deeds, you have proven you are worth salvation. You have been given second chance, and you have used it well. You may now join your loved one, but will she forgive you? Dark sorrow. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. I love you all, and I hope you have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. Make sure you go are staying hydrated, and I love you all so very much. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>